Hello guys, welcome back to my playthrough of uh, Wolfenstein to the New Colossus. Uh, as you see, we are continuing from the end of the last episode. Funny story, I uh, actually advanced through this part quite a while ago. And I recorded a whole bunch of other episodes already ready to go. Only to realize that from ever since the last episode that you were uh, supposed to see, which meaning we end as we ended here. Every for the episodes that I had recorded, only recorded my own sound, but not the game audio. Which, you, as you can imagine, is a little bit frustrating for me. So what I did was I retraced a manual save slot a few a while ago. Uh, that was back at the train level, and I replayed since that level up to here. So I can continue recording it just for you. And yeah, so this means... And if you still copy, this is the conclusion I've reached. Whatever happens, she can't know she'll be rearing our babies alone. It's my burden to bear. This means that what you're seeing is no longer a pure and unfiltered first time reaction to the procedure of this game rather I am fairly spoiled for some of the further developments in the story which is a uh, pro and con situation I must say the con obviously is my reaction won't be as raw and and uh, natural as it could have been if I didn't know what was going to happen uh, at, at least for a while, I haven't, I haven't completed the game. I think I'm only at maybe one third or halfway through. But there was some pretty crazy development that I think I'm spoiled at. Uh, that I already got spoiled for. And if you have played this game, if you know what's uh, in store for BJ, I. I think you might have some idea of what I'm talking about, but if you don't, well, let's just say it's crazy. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't look it up. Okay, don't get too curious. Just let uh, let it come naturally. If you're experiencing the story for the first time with me, that would be a, a great honor for me. And frankly, I don't think I deserve that kind of honor. You should probably just play this game for yourself. So here's what I'll do. Keep away from her. Let nothing show, Caroline. This dying is making me a liar. It's amazing that Caroline is dead so early in the game, but her presence is so vividly felt throughout. Uh, but like I, as I was saying, the pro of this situation is... Uh, well, I probably will be able to do a little bit better for a while. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was just saying I probably would do a little bit better for a while immediately followed by complete incompetence yay me where, where, where did I put the gun okay, there we go never mind Anyway, we are going to retrieve this warhead for Grace, who is our newest member. Oh my god! How did you get here? That's a naughty boy. Here, I'll take this one for you. And I don't believe that would be the only robot shooting at me, because that's not the norm. Okay, guess he was the only robot shooting at me. Wow. So yeah, I'm just going to uh, continue playing this game as usual. As if I don't know what's going to happen. And let's be honest, I don't... I probably don't remember most of what happened anyway. So a lot of it would still come as a surprise. Well, a m more minor than otherwise surprise, but a surprise nonetheless. 
and this is still gonna this is still gonna be a lot of fun and I will say though I can what I can guarantee you is the part that I have played once for have been really really good and really really crazy so uh, yeah I probably I don't know if I remember I would remember all the documents I already read but I'm gonna read them again just in case this is from 1961 June 26th yesterday a science report on the 30 year old German from Bavaria with the ability to lift an entire car was released to the public analysis of his genetic structure showed that his superior Aryan genes are the foundation of his uber meister strength maybe superheroes such as the ones in shows like Blitzmash and the uber league will soon become more than a fantasy the excellence of the Aryan race is an established fact within the world's scientific community, says Otto Grunwald at the Institute of German Heritage Research. I would say that the best example of a true superhero is none other than our beloved Führer himself. Don't know superheroes require a sidekick. In that case, General Engel would be the Führer's fall line fox, laughs the balding but very intelligent scientist. It's very important that we mention that he's balding. But it's okay because he's also intelligent. One thing that I was very curious of about World War II is uh, Hitler's general opinion of the Japanese. And obviously, the Japanese uh, is part of the fascist tribe and. Shit. And they were allies. But because both of them had this uh, racial superiority to their to them and to oh, not only to their final goal but also their perception of the world, what I was really curious of is how they could how they were able to get along as well as they did, because they were did not the Germans and the Japanese they they are not of the same race. So their ends seem ultimately incompatible. Careful, Shimshin, it's not a Tatsuke. I mean, you, you okay? Well, let me look at you. You're a little pale. You have nausea? Any uh, fever? I'm fine. Never better. Never better. Well, I need to take care of this. You need to rest. I'll sleep when I'm dead. I'll do me a favor. Before you die, go to Grace. She's at the helm. You know, Caroline's old room. So this is going to be a curious conversation we're going to hear. I'm going to hear it while looking at this monkey dog thing. I was just hoping you could help me figure out something I saw earlier. What did you see? I saw highways in the sky, you know? Don't touch it! Light just reaching across <laughs> galaxies in it. It was like these, these symmetrical patterns of, of color, and I was just blasting through them at the speed of light, and mm -hmm. it, it was like reality had warped in on itself, and it, somehow I was breaking through these dimensional barriers, and I could see everything uh -huh. except i i had ceased to exist i mean i was but i wasn't i this is very interesting yes and, and from my vantage point there were like these these patterns of light that formed these roots that that reached out into this infinitely colossal shape like like a geometric tree that was just bigger than the as you can see at this point it said becomes really interested in what he has to say and then i i heard something this, this voice just thundered at the center of my awareness and this, this being, this shape, it spoke and it just said one word. Rosebud. Visitor. Visitor. Just that one Okay, word. not Rosebud. Visitor. I, but that dog is scratching its ass. No, it's, it's hard to explain. It's supposed to be a cat or a dog. Amazing. This is it's 
that. The ten Sephiros. Oh, yeah. The ten. What? These visions. How did they come to you? Well, like, in, in a dream. Believe me, this is astonishing. This is astonishing! I have very little books on the subject in English. Oh, 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 oh. Now, listen to me very well. Study this. I don't think there's anything Carol else in these really shelves. Any revelation, any observation, anything, come to me. Understand me? Thank you. Right on, Sid. Right on, Mr. Byatt. Oh, thank you. Right on. So, the part that I have played has not revealed what this means, so I remain very curious what the uh, further impl implication of this revelation of his could be. Uh, these are from the guitarist from the first game. Hey, Anya. Maybe we can get some time alone? Just you and me? I would like that. Yeah, well, I'm kind of trying to avoid you right now, even though I personally don't think that's a good idea. See, I'm never one for lying to your loved ones, especially in video games or TV or movies. Yeah, generally speaking, I'm very opposed to that when it's not my own business. Like, this is what happens with all lives truest wisdoms and knowledges yep. Hello. it's all very well and simple and uh, black and white and you are the wisest person in the world as long as it's not your own business as long as it doesn't concern yourself it's always so you're always so smart with everybody else's doings this is the case for me and I believe for a lot of people like all knowledges in the world apply to everybody else. William? Hey, I was just look. Oh, we just met. What? I feel like you've been avoiding me. What's wrong? Talk to me. Look at me, Anya. I'm the damn tin man. How am I gonna get close to you? I don't care. We'll figure something out. We always do. Huh? Hey, why, why won't you at least try? Because I'm fucking dying. The longer we keep pretending it won't happen, the harder it's gonna be. I'll be in the ground a week from now. You don't know that! What, you can see the future now? Don't act like you know things you can't possibly know! Perfect timing. The toilet works. Sashi, are you still here? You need to haul ass back to mission control and get all your ducks in a row. Now the host 2 helicopter is spinning up in the hangar, and it'll get you as far as Galveston, but from there, baby, you're gonna have to improvise. You just came out of the shitters, just so you know. Dynamite, boss. Blazkowicz, head on up to the hangar and make sure that Haas won his mission ready, all right? Not being there for you. Not rearing up our kids. That's too much to bear. Then don't give up, William. Because I will never, ever give up on you, no matter what. Come with me to the showers. Hmm? We'll take this thing off. I'll clean you up. You smell. I'll take it off. I'm afraid I'll fall apart. Pieces won't fit back together again. I just got to keep going. For as long as I can.
Caroline. I fucked up and told her. Turns out, the hurt I tried to spare was mine, not hers. It's a good thing to tell her the truth. See, the tricky thing about having to re-record all of this is that I can't remember if I have told you about this already. I guess I didn't because I think these thoughts only come to me in this very sequence. But this reminds me very much of uh, the uh, similar situation in Uncharted 4 A Thief's End where Nathan Drake decided to keep his little adventure from Elena. Which I thought from the beginning was a really dumb idea and it turned out to be the case. And you know it's okay if I only have a few of these examples but I'm, I would be getting a little bit concerned if this becomes a norm for storytelling in video games in general but I just feel like these protagonists of video games they never give their perfectly capable and uh, competent girlfriends or just uh, signif significant others the fair credit that they deserve no matter how much they have been through together it the, the, the storytelling they always comes down to uh, the arc they the arc they always have to go through is they don't trust each other for their own protect for their own safety they lie to them in the name of protection and in the end they realize it's wrong and they uh they have a little bit of a standoff and then the girl forgives them and everyone goes happily ever after that's th th this story has just been told so many times it's getting a little bit of stale okay it's getting a lot stale so i'm hoping somebody oh, would will change it up somebody will dial it up to uh, uh, a few more a few higher notches and not go through this same tired route again okay there goes my renting and let me refuel the chopper that there, there Looks goes like I need more diesel yep and the diesel is right here you guys really need a uh, more efficient way to refuel your chopper what if you need to do this in emergency situation Chopper's fat and sassy. Should let Grace know. Before I do that, I don't want to run an empty tank. All right, Grace, here I go. Hey. Hey. It's not like I'm not interested in what's going on in this submarines because I really have played through all this once. Hey, her napping just letting me do all the work and then she goes napping all set helicopter's good to go thanks man damn that's a lot of fire for one lighter i think it's time we had a gathering enter and pass it through the gates to attain to the 32 paths of wisdom I, but in reference to what hey little star man are you ticklish, buddy? Max! Jesus, Max! I bet Max was See following it. his toys. Look, Max, I'm doing some, like, really heavy reading here, and your little toy robot is just not compatible with that type of soul journey, man, okay? Max, hot. I really wonder if you... If I had an estate and watched the whole conversation, how would I understand this? See, I'm trying to find the reference to these gates here, and... Ugh, you just would not understand. Yeah, Max, oh, Max what the fuck really are you talking about? Philosophical literature here, okay? You can't just start pointing to. <laughs> Max, that's it. How did you? Need you in the helm, Wyatt. All right, y'all. We got some hell to raise. You got a boat full of newts, and I got a target. Fucking good one too. Woo! Right on, boss. Yeah, that's where it's at. That's cool. All right. I dig. Check it out. I sent Specie ahead to his hometown of Roswell, New Mexico to prep for the mission. 
Now, there's a tunnel that's accessible through Species Hideout that will take you straight into the Nazis' top-secret underground base, where they're experimenting with some sort of wigged-out alien technology. This will... in Mexico, you said? This is one of ours. What do you mean? One of yours? Yeah. Wouldn't you like to know? So you can send coded messages back to your pals in Berlin? No! What the fuck is she even doing here? Grace, why she's good people? She's a fucking Nazi. I kind of agree with folks. her. You know, we even if she's people. good, she's not contributing. That so maybe just keep her out of we it. Talking about was constructed by us. That's you, one of our biggest state keeps. Yeah, it was located here underground near what is now Roswell, New Mexico, but it, I mean, it existed for a thousand years long before America got subjugated by the Europeans. It contained technology related to anti-gravity research, something that could easily turn the tide of war. We gave the U.S. government access to it. Unfortunately, it was too late. America fell. The Nazis took hold of our safekeep. Shit. That's not gonna sit well with Speci. He had his bet on space aliens. He once saw a ship that crashed back there in 47. So what do you want with this place? Know what the Oberkommando is? Yeah, baby. That's where all those big shot jerks running the Nazi war machine hang out. Yeah, well, the Nazis moved it into your safekeep set. So whatever it is is so important that the whole upper echelon of the Nazi leadership left Berlin and set up shop in New Mexico. This is why you need this for. What on earth is that? This is a portable nuclear bomb. We're going to take out the Oberkommando, cripple the Nazi leadership, and destabilize the fucking country and let the people know that the fight is back on. Blazkowicz, load up. I'm sending you to Roswell with this. Roswell is out of helicopter range, so we'll drop you off by the coast near Galveston. From there, you will catch a ride to Roswell, rendezvous with Super Spech at Papa Joe's All-American Diner, and plant the nuke inside the very heart of the Ober Commando. Then, you blow that shit the fuck up. That sounds really nice. Oh shit. Hey, that kind of poster looks a little bit familiar. And we are at what okay, appears to be a 1950s American town. Meet super special inside the restaurant. Do not break cover. Hey, man. Hey, you. <clears throat> hey, you. Yeah, me. What? You want to know a secret? Yeah. Well, I won't tell you because you're a fucking Nazi traitor. Uh -huh. Wow. I am. I am amazed that you uh, have survived this long. The wheat detaches from the chaff. Have you taken your German lessons? Oh, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Good. You, how do you say thank you in German? Oh, of course, sir. Let me see. It's, um. I actually want to know. Yes. Dang. Dang. Yes, out with it. Dang. Dang. <laughs> my God. <laughs> was that all right? No, that was terrible. You're butchering my beautiful language. It's Danke schön, verdammt. Say it. Uh, Danke schön. Incorrect. Danke schön. Danke schön. How am I doing? Danke schön. I've heard enough. No more. I'm so sorry, sir. I'm still practicing. You will practice hard. Danke schön. So sorry. Ah, German languages. Well, someday I might visit Germany and I will be able to perfectly say thank you in German. Wow. That's really cool. Uh, and when people say, hey, 
Where did you pick up this beautiful German? And I will be able to proudly reply, Oh, I learned it from a Nazi officer. No big deal. I learned it while he was teaching two KKK members. You think that's gonna raise a few eyebrows? Okay, we have uh, something to read. Book review of the Trumbull Journals. The Trumbull Journals is a bone-chilling so-called alternate history novel about what would have happened if the Allies had won the war written by Nobel Prize winner author Ingo Kramer. I wonder if that's a real person. It begins with a catastrophic event that leads to the defeat of the glorious army of the Reich. Hero Peter Trumbull <laughs> piloting the ship which in our world dropped the legendary atom bomb on Der Burstreifer over Manhattan is shot down minutes before reaching New York. Trumbauer arrives and swims ashore where he gathers the colorful cast of heroic freedom fighters that soon become known as the last of the Aryans. With the army of goodness defeated and civilization itself falls into disarray, degeneracy, and corruption, it is against this harrowing dystopian backdrop that we follow Trumbauer and his Aryan freedom fighters in the struggle against an oppressive global regime. This is perhaps Kramer's finest writing to date, who is known for our masterpieces such as Don't Forget the Fatherland and Your Heart is German. The plot is riveting and the characters are so real that they almost jump out of the page. Above all, it effectively instills the reader with the dread of the society ruled by Jews, homosexuals, and the other degenerates. While this may be incredibly offensive to many people, there is a message of hope in this book. <laughs> this, it, it is incredibly offensive to a lot of people but for a totally different reason. Um, and hope is at the very core of the glorious Reich. And the newspaper for th is called the Star Spangled Daily. Are you taking a picture of the drone? What are you? Oh, there it is. Papa Joe's. My kind of dive. Yeah, I kind of want to go check out someplace else. This is a movie theater. This guy should be selling popcorns, but he's dozing off. So maybe we can just. Oh, uh, maybe we can just take a free popcorn. That would be a nice change of pace and is this meter like taking uh keeping time for the popcorn machine i don't know if is that something you could park it's a fucking movie theater uh, well i actually went to see a movie earlier this morning i went to see the current war staring uh, it's a uh Look at you people. Mid of the road movie, Celebrate not as good as it could have been, but it's but it has a crazy ensemble cast with you know Benedict Cumberbatch, Michael Shannon, Nicholas Holt, uh, Catherine Watson. Who else? Let's see. Oh, Tom Holland. So yeah, I guess a lot of people thought this was going to be an Oscar contender. It's not. It's actually uh, really boring the first half of it, and yeah, I'm not gonna just go into a movie review here. It's an okay movie. It shouldn't be better. I want to do that again. Man, what'll it be? We're about to close. Oh, it, it's to go. We'll be quick. Let's see. Uh, I'll have the... Blazkowicz. Speci knows you're coming to attack the Overcommando, but he has no idea you bring in a damn atom bomb. You gotta break him the news. Well, that's not make me feel better Hello. about my chances. Come on, Peter. Let's go someplace else. But Mom, we no don't have any butts. Oh! Bitte schön. Good day, man. Uh, Dunk, uh, oh, sure. Oh, shit, I already peace. forgot. Oh, I hope you don't have a fire back there to put out. If so, I'll come back another time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're so funny. Fireman, are 
recognize your face. Uh, Very Aryan face it is too. Well, my face is right there. The and there. One? And there. there you come, oh, okay, so it's uh, quite ordinary. Mm. Now you. Show me your identification papers. Please. Um. Should I? You know what? I'm gonna. Last time I tried to uh, just ignore him. A few times he said he every time he insisted a little bit stronger, more strongly, and uh, nothing really happened. Some uh, his radio, something on his radio came up, and he had to leave. Just and so nothing really exciting happened when I tried to refuse him. So this time I'm trying. I would try to give him the paper to see what would happen. Do I even have legit papers? Do I have forged papers? Ah, look at him and his milkshake. I love strawberry milkshake. It's perhaps my favorite American thing. So simple. It's just milk and ice cream. The rest of the menu, however, I think you will need to address. I think it needs to be more German. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Are you from here, John Smith? Huh? <laughs> Fucking hell, my name is John Smith! I hear that you operate out of Station 6. You couldn't, like, give me a more credible what fake name? Station like... Station 6. I'm wow, man. I'm unfamiliar with this station. It's, uh... Hey, that's my paper. You... Speak up. Commandant, Sie werden from Oberkommando Oh, yeah. Verlangen. Same thing happens. Hat das nicht Zeit? Trink grad noch meine Erdbeermilch. Leider nicht, Kommandant. Das Oberkommando verlangt, sie umgehend zu sehen. In Ordnung, ich, ich komme schon. John Smith. Fucking hell. Mm. Mm. Mein Gott. Ups. Oh mein Gott, das bist du. Das bist du! Shut the fucking front door! Yeah. More Nazi milkshakes. How many of them come from milkshakes? Not that I don't trust you, Blaskwitz. There's nothing saying you couldn't be wearing a mask made to look like William J. Blaskwitz to hide your alien space lizard facial traits. So, I mean the pass where the Grace gave you. She didn't give me one. Right. Off with the mask. Show me your lizard face, motherfucker. Super special. Lower your weapon before I break your arm and put your lights out. I knew it was you, Terror Billy. I was just fucking with you. Come follow me. This Terror Billy name really is sticking. So, um, welcome to Mission Control. That's, I haven't had much of a chance to clean up around here. I'm, I'm sorry about that. It's, um, good stuff. This shit right here. It keeps the signals from getting through. Very effective against alien mind reading devices. Mm hmm. How's Grace? Good. Baby Abby? Fine as cream gravy. Christ, I miss her. Even the pissing in the face part. I mean, maybe, maybe I miss that the most. <laughs> Little fucker. I don't so need to know that. This place? My papa and me used this place to collect all the evidence we could find of the government cover up. Cookie? Uh, it's been, been more than a decade now. Uh, summer of 47. I was the same year I quit working as a lawyer. In the year I joined the Black Revolutionary Front after I got Grace acquitted from that murder charge that the goddamn FBI pigs trumped up against her. Anyway, one night, Papa heard something on the police frequency, and he brought me up north to Murphy's Ranch, where we found this flying saucer-like thing that crashed into the ground. And wouldn't you know it, the U.S. motherfucking military swooped in and quarantined off the entire Peru. Gave us some kind of bullshit story about a weather balloon. <laughs> they were lying out of their asses, because we made off with some actual hard evidence. Here, take a look at this. Ah. Pulled that baby right out of the crash site. Now, does that look like something that came off a weather balloon? This place yeah, that's died. You shoot. 
and started surveilling what the military is up to. And Papa built most of it. So you reckon what you saw was a spaceship? I'm, I'm not saying it's a flying saucer from outer space, but he was clearly extraterrestrial in origin, if you catch my drift. It's all fucking connected, man. If you trace the chain of causation, you find yourself in a secret underground facility about 10 clicks east of Roswell, up by Bottomless Lakes, Area 52. Our government captured an alien flying saucer, and they stored the salvaged bodies and technology in an underground vault. Everyone was involved. The FBI pigs, the military pigs, even the goddamn King President Pig himself. Check this shit out. What? Area 52, Area 51, over here, Area 48, Area 56, all over the Southwest. Nevada, New Mexico, it's one gigantic complex and it's connected by underground train tunnels. <laughs> look, look, look at the pictures. Plasma guns, mind control, anti-gravity engines. And after our coward ass government surrendered to the fucking Nazi pigs, our new masters took over all these bases and they kept doing their own experiments to, to further their own fascist agenda. Look at this. This whole thing is the Area 52 military compound. Up here, it's, uh, the Nazi head honchos installed the fucking Oberkommando. But down here below, is a cavernous vault full of all kinds of weird-ass technology. Alien shit. It's, it's all down there. Now, I haven't seen it myself, but it's there. Well, whatever it is, it, 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 it ain't Martians. No, okay, all right, all right, all right. We, nobody knows for sure exactly what kind of technology we're dealing with, but it's most likely space alien-based. Space Thanks, aliens. Space aliens. I talk How the fuck do you know? Are you, are, you, are you some kind of expert on all things extraterrestrial now? Look, I've been a lawyer a long fucking time, and I know a motherfucking conspiracy when I see one. No, okay, I'm not saying it's space aliens, right? But it goes without saying it's fucking space aliens. This guy. So, I got a nuke in this here fire extinguisher. Okay. Cool it. I did not mean to rile you. Grace told me that you know a way into the Oberkommando. You get me in there, I will use this nuke to blow the top brass of the Nazi leadership to smithereens. Yes! Yes, of course! That sounds so good. I'm here to help. Papa dug these tunnels to the underground train system that connects all the top secret military bases. This tunnel goes right to Area 52 Cargo Train Loading Depot. All right. Now, you should put that nuke in uh, this backpack to keep your hands free from shooting. All right. Yeah, that's an idea. Down there. It would be pretty awkward if anybody Other shoots things. me from the back. Now, I'll keep in touch on the radio. Help you out. Hey, stay frosty, Blaskowitz. Stay frosty? Okay. Uh, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.